Hi all, it's Dr. Jarden here, and today we're going to talk about quasi-experimental designs. So what are quasi-experimental designs, and how are they different than experimental designs? Well, we'll get into that. They have a lot of overlap, and that's why it's confusing and why you're probably here. So the key difference between a quasi-experimental design and an experimental design is the non-random assignment of subjects in the study. So this will happen probably for one of two reasons. So the first reason is that it's not possible to randomly assign subjects. So say that we're interested in cognitive aging and we're interested in how cognition changes between younger adults and older adults. Just what are the differences in cognitive function? So the key independent variable is age and the key dependent variable is cognitive function. So we're not able to randomly assign people to be a younger adult or an older adult, they just are either a younger adult or older adult, so it's not possible. And the other circumstance is where it's not ethical to randomly assign one to one group and one to another. And one case of this is say chronic stress. You have one group of people who are chronically stressed and one group that aren't. It's not ethical to provide one group a ton of stress over a long period of time. Instead, what we do is we have one group that's high in stress and one group that's low in stress. So in quasi-experimental designs, there are other factors that can get in the way. It's more likely that confounding variables can get in the mix. So for instance, when we're studying aging, there's different things that could happen. Like what were different historical events that happened for older adults when younger adults weren't alive? So you see how these kind of things can get in the way. And then also if we're talking about chronic stress, maybe there are other things in these people's lives that were causing the stress. So you're not able to randomly assign in a quasi-experimental design generally because either it's not possible or that it's not ethical. And in the end of the day, you're still aiming to answer the same questions, but the amount of evidence that you do have for a true experiment tends to be greater than for a quasi-experimental design. So yeah, that's all, all you got here. So if you're interested in learning more, Feel free to send me a message and I'll get back to you. Have a great day.